Hello everybody, Laura back again. And this time we're looking at the Work Basket in Home Arts Magazine number 2, volume 33, November 1967. And isn't that a cute jacket? I'm interested to find out about how that one's built. A girl's A-line coat and hat, so that was the one on the front cover. A fashion right coat for young girls who are just beginning to be smart like little style setters. Instructions are given for size 4 with changes for size 6, 8, and 10 in parentheses. To make both coat and hat, you will need 9, 10, 11, or 12. 50 gram balls of Reynolds Dance yarn, a size 5 knitting standard knitting needles, crochet hook size F, and 8 buttons. I'm going to look into that one a little bit because that's very interesting. Hairpin lace and tatted butterfly. This decorative butterfly has almost unlimited uses such as trimming blouses or clothes and adding a touch of color to curtains or pillows. When made with size 10 crochet cotton, the butterfly measures approximately three and a half inches high and four and a half inches, four and a quarter inches wide. You will need a ball of number 10 crochet cotton in color of your choice, a three-quarter inch hairpin loom, a number nine crochet hook, and a tatting shuttle. And there it is. The tatted butterfly. Wow. Okay, now I understand what that was. Hairpin lace. Yep, okay, cool. Medallion necklace, attractive, unique necklace that you can make for yourself or to give as a gift. Use gold and silver metallic thread and a number nine steel crochet hook. Medallion measures approximately three and a half inches in diameter. Sorry about the cat interruption there. Oops, as my light falls over. Crochet bed jacket, cozy and comfortable bed jacket in ever popular ripple design. You will need eight ounces each of pink and white of American Thread Company's Dawn Knitting Worsted and a wooden crochet hook number um, number 13 or plastic crochet hook size J or any size hook which will give stitch gauge. Sorry about that. Cat interruption again. Oh, isn't that a cute bed jacket? Okay, I'm going to have to look at this one. Hi, Venus. Yes, I know, Venus. Knit socks. Nothing... <laughs> More attractive or more comfortable than hand knit socks. To make these, you will need three ounces of three ply fingering yarn and one set each of double pointed knitting needles, numbers one and two. Popcorn pullover. An eye catching pullover, smartly accented accented with bold rows of popcorn of popcorn and color coordinated collar directions are given for size 10 changes for sizes 12 14 16 and 18 are in parentheses the model was made of columbia minerva nun Nan Tuck Knitting Worcester, two ounce skeins in following amounts and colors, five, six, six, seven, seven skeins of white or main color, four skeins of gold or contrasting color. Use standard knitting needles sizes six and eight. Hourglass pillow, this I can tell is knit. A traditional favorite, the hourglass, has become the basis for a knit design for, in this pillow. Original colors were pink and red, but any colors to harmonize or contrast with color scheme would be equally attractive. You will need Coates and Clark's Knitting Worsted, 5 ounces red and 3 ounces pink, plus 2 red and 
one pink ball knit crochet number seven standard knitting needles or size needed to work to gauge any size ten and a half plastic crochet hook you will need a foam pillow or make a 14 by 14 inch pillow with cotton or kapok stuffing Hello, popcorn pullover, child's pullover, and cap. This two-piece sports ensemble would delight any child. Directions are for size 6. Changes for sizes 8 and 10 and 12 are in parentheses. The pullover requires 5, 6, 6, 7, 2 ounce skeins, Columbia Minerva, Heather, Nantuck, Knitting Worcester. Two skeins are needed for cap. One Set number six double pointed knitting needles and one pair each number sixes and eight straight needles will be needed. It's got some cute little design at the bottom that really is not showing up in the picture at all. I can hardly tell it's there. Diamond pat pattern it says. And cable too. Okay. Women who make sense. Santa chimney. Santa chimney may be used for decoration or candy jar. It is made from glass chimney. Tuna can with lid removed. And red baby sock. Cotton ball and scraps of felt. Interesting. She sells them for a dollar each. Christmas balls. Decorate inside of hollow styrofoam balls by covering with glitter tissue paper. I like that one too. Um, these sell for about five dollars each depending on the size and the amount of decorations. Note paper. Uh, cut a sheet of typing paper in half either crossways or lengthwise fold in half. In upper left hand corner of note glue a piece of art foam or cloth cut in shape of a vase. Glue two or three artificial flowers over vase. Uh, they sell for about 50 cents a dozen. Children's panels. I make gay colorful panels for children's rooms. These are made from several squares of rush matting tacked together with bright strands of heavy cord. Puppets or toy animals are suspended on thread from hooks. Oh. Interesting. Okay, they sell readily for two dollars to two fifty. Plastic rugs. Cut plastic bread bags into strips one and a half inches wide. Sew strips together and crochet if desired. In desired stitch, excuse me. These sell for a dollar ninety eight and are very attractive, wear well and can be laundered. Christmas decorations. I make hanging Christmas decorations from felt scraps. Uh Okay, she makes uh, the letters Merry Christmas and sells them for about two fifty. Soup, soup, soup. Chilled tomato soup, Belgian herb soup, ham and macaroni au gratin, and shepherdess soup stew. Tuna casserole, sportsman's chowder, Scalloped, scallop corn chowder, French cheese soup, mincemeat cookery, co coffee mincemeat relish, mincemeat chutney, filled eggplant, beef mincemeat rollade. I didn't say that right. <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> said it how it looked, rollades. Ah, uh, with the cooks, catch all casserole, crab casserole, clam casserole, kraut casserole, pork chop casserole. That's funny. I remember this cat the most. Seemed like everybody had that one. Flower and garden. Cyclamen. Whoops, too many pages. Try that again. Spider plant. 
And even children will enjoy watch, enjoy growing spider plants. Or I was going to say watching spider plants grow, but okay. Kitchen Angel. Uh, and the design. Heavy Duty Aluminum Foil. Joy Logs. Now is the time to start making fireplace logs that will send up flares of brilliant colors during winter months. Oh, how interesting. Although I do remember making logs out of newspapers, which is what this one says. Uh, roll from two to six magazines together into tight roll. Old phone books and newspapers can also be used. I do remember making them out of newspapers when I was a kid. Applehead Dolls. Apple heads are not an in, in, innovation. Mother Nature has been making them for centuries. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Scalloped crochet edge. Scalloped edges are always popular, and this one is no exception. You will need a ball of number 30 crochet cotton and number 12 steel crochet hook. That's pretty. I like that one. Man's patterned pullover. Man's v-necked classic style pullover with an interesting pattern design that will make that special someone a perfect gift. Directions are given for sizes 38 with changes for 40, 42, and 44 in parentheses. You will need 22, 23, 25, 27 ounces of Coates and Clark Red Heart Knitting Worsted and Standard Knitting Needle sizes 5 and 6. And I lost my light twice now. I must have bumped it the last time I moved my arm out of the way. And men's sweater, excuse me, man's, not men's. And the man's sweater, and there goes my light again. I'm having trouble with the cat and my lights tonight. Looks like we are at the end. Let's see what else comes up, pops up here real quick. And we are at the end. So that was the work basket and Home Arts Magazine, number two, volume 33, November 1967. Thank you for watching. Bye. Love you.